what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i'm literally running out of ideas when it comes to jeepers creepers so if you guys have anything you want me to talk about regarding this franchise any further just go ahead and like leave suggestions down in the comment sections i'm honestly becoming uh i'm running dry of my well of things to put out with this franchise and i love it but getting into what i wanted to talk about as you saw in the thumbnail we're going to talk today about what we possibly could have gotten had Gina Phillips and Justin Long not had landed the roles of of Trisha and Derry Jenner from the original Jeepers Creepers movie. And we know Justin Long had a brief couple of cameos. He had a, he basically was a glorified cameo in Jeepers Creepers 2. And we know we were supposed to have Gina Phillips back at the full front of the series in Jeepers Creepers 3 when it was titled Cathedral. When we were supposed to get the movie we still are waiting for. That's now been shifted to part four if it ever happens. But she was a glorified cameo in Jeepers Creepers 3 too. I, I, I just want us to take a moment and recognize that. Isn't it quite odd? I just noticed that. Our two leads from the first movie who are our focus of the franchise or, or of that story the sequels that we got they have been nothing but cameos in them at least they've been in them but they've been glorified cameos at best so i hope something happens and we get to see gina phillips in the focus of the story again with this thing but yes uh mgm apparently who we know is responsible for distributing and handling the first jeepers creepers film they wanted to have more like notable names at the time in 2001 when this project was still being uh developed and honestly not even 2001 that's when that, that's when the movie came out this would have been like around the late 90s mid 2000 the year 2000 because we know the movie was shot before 2001 of course they wanted more notable names but gina phillips and justin long um, I'm, I'm pretty sure all of us have seen the audition tapes of them along with the Jonathan Brex that are online for you to view in their entirety. Some might be crop, cropped to fit certain certain aspects of a scene that many people have uploaded just to focus on that. But they, from their audition tapes and us growing up with this franchise, I don't think any of us can see anyone else in these roles. Trisha and Derry are Gina and Justin Long. That's that's their role. That's These are their characters. It's like having Scream 5 and we're going to take Sydney Prescott, but she's going to be portrayed by somebody else now. Like a lot of us can't, you can't see that in our heads. That's that's not going to sit well with not only myself, but I know a lot of you guys as well. And to hear this now, all these years later, this isn't even new news. I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably already knew this. If you haven't, this is new news to you as well. I was just going through the trivia page of IMDb where I came across this. MGM apparently wanted to have more notable names and the reason why we didn't get that is because Victor Saba who was pushing for him pushing for his two leads to stay put he had the assist by someone who had more control more of a leverage his uh his mentor Francis Ford Coppola Francis Ford Coppola went to bat for Gina and Justin and that's why they ultimately it seems like I guess that's why they stuck to those two actors because MGM had it not have been for Francis Ford Coppola we might not have gotten these two in these roles we, and I'm sitting here trying to think well who else could have played these characters had Victor Salva's choices his intended choices not have been able to get the role and the only two people I can think of is of course going to be uh I can think of like Kate Winslet maybe from Titanic and maybe getting her back together with like Leonardo DiCaprio and then we could have had I don't know let's say possibly the Jada Pinkett Smith and maybe Will Smith if they wanted to explore that route to have like an interracial lead we could have also had Drew Barrymore and some other actor it's just like trying to embody who else could have been in that role to play Gene to play Trisha and Derry at this point in the game. It's kind of impossible because they are those roles. They are Trisha and they are Derry. So I don't see how that would have come across well nowadays. Just trying to envision that in my head. All I see is Gina and Justin Long. So I don't really see how uh, that I, I know for a fact it would just be something weird to witness because those roles belong to those two actors and i can't really think of who else could have done it better because it's been so long this movie is almost 20 years old to now find this out and consider what we could have gotten maybe we could have gotten like Charlize theron as trisha 
and then some other actor. Maybe we couldn't got an Angelina Jolie and Brad Smith. I'm just trying to think of all of these different things. Or Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, I mean. I, I'm thinking about Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Um, I'm trying to think about all these other options that could have been available for MGM or who MGM might have wanted to cast or who could have actually landed in these roles. Because what I would love to find out is that other big name actors and actresses did audition, but they went with these no names. Uh, well, Justin wasn't a no name. Gina, I believe, had done like one prior thing. Justin, I believe, had done just like some some minor role that attracted Victor to him. Victor saw him in some type of I think it was a, it was either a TV series or another film. I don't know what the name of it is off the top of my head, but that's what attracted Victor to Justin. And, you know, this just the charm they give off from their audition tapes. I can see why Victor would want to go with them. But at the same time, I am now curious what could have been. What could we have gotten out of two big name, two big name actors or actresses? We could have gotten so many different things. I'm sitting here thinking of all these different routes we could have gone, all these different actors and actresses that could have been. I'd love to find out that, again, that many people auditioned, but they ultimately got Justin and Gina, of course. I don't know anyone else who auditioned for Jeepers Creepers. I can't think of anyone else who I know who has auditioned for Jeepers Creepers. I know Ray Wise in Jeepers Creepers 2. His character wasn't supposed to be portrayed by Ray Wise. That was supposed to be for another actor who I believe couldn't couldn't uh, commit to the project but that was just an interesting tidbit that i saw on imdb and i wanted to come talk about it and see what you guys possibly thought of this it's just very very odd to me because i don't i couldn't see this happening i couldn't see this happening whatsoever to sit down and have a jeepers creepers movie without gina or justin that just would not it just sounds so odd because it's been so long since that first film came out and to know that we almost didn't get them that's kind of making me more thankful that we got what we got because who knows what could have been and it's just fun to sit down and think about all these different options that were available but they chose to go with these two smaller time actor actors just for whatever reason because when i'm looking at their audition tapes they and this is mostly just because i've seen the film before i've seen these audition tapes we as the fans we're not going to associate these characters with anyone but gina and justin so i'm glad we got what we got but who could have portrayed gene who could have portrayed trisha and who could have portrayed uh dairy who could have portrayed these two characters i'm i'm leaning towards us possibly getting angelina jolie <laughs> and then I, I i i don't know why i just feel like we could have gotten angelina jolie and Brad Pitt. I feel like they probably would have been the ones to start a Jeepers Creepers movie. That's just me. If not them, definitely could have seen. I'm actually now thinking about from Bird Box, her Sandra Bullock in a Jeepers Creepers movie. Imagine that. Sandra Bullock in a Jeepers Creepers movie as Trisha. Actually, I'm sitting here thinking about it. I probably would have been more accepting of that than angelina jolie i'm trying to think of who could have given off that a trisha vibe who could i see as trisha and angelina jolie doesn't really do it for me sandra bullock though and the the range she has as an actress i could see her filling fitting this role i could see her pulling it off i don't know who would have played Derry alongside uh sandra bullock but I could see her fulfilling the role. I just, that's me going off on a tangent right there. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section, of course. Had we not have gotten Gina and Justin, who are at this point in their careers, I feel like they're they're synonymous with this franchise. I feel like this is Gina's, because I know Justin's career took off from this. Gina has kind of been in just more smaller projects since this original hit. She hasn't really done much. And I think her most recent hit is the cameo she had from the original Jeepers Creepers. So who do you guys think could have been in these roles? Who could have who could have done it justice had we not have gotten Gina and 
Justin, who do you guys think could have fulfilled the roles? And are you glad we got? A f I'm, I'm certain you're glad we got what we got. But who who else could have fulfilled these roles? Who could have lived up to what we know we have already? Who could you see doing a better job, if not on the same par um, as Gina and Justin, as Trisha and Derry? And I'm glad Francis Ford Coppola did what he did. Um, probably probably end up getting the better film for it. But again, let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews, of course, that you would like me to cover in the future. And also down in the comment section, I have a link to a, a Podbean podcast for my antebellum review. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.